Good morning. Welcome to Christ the King's morning prayer service. This is Tuesday, August 30th. Our opening sentence this morning is from Psalm 19. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be always acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. The Confession of Sin on page 12. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from your ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against your holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done. We have done those things which we ought not to have done. And apart from your grace, there is no health in us. O oh Lord, have mercy upon us. Spare all those who confess their faults. Restore all those who are penitent according to your promises declared to all people in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may now live a godly, righteous, and sober life to the glory of your holy name. Amen. The Almighty and merciful Lord grant you absolution and remission of all your sins to repentance, amendment of life, and the grace and consolation of his Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. On page 16, you'll find the Pascha Nostrum. Alleluia, Christ our Passover has been sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast, not with the old leaven, the leaven of malice and evil, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Alleluia. Christ, being raised from the dead, will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. The death that he died, he died to sin once for all. But the life he lives, he lives to God. So also consider yourselves dead to sin and alive to God in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since by a man came death, by a man has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, so also in Christ shall all be made alive. Alleluia. Now have the psalm reading and the New Testament reading. The psalm appointed for today is Psalm 146. It can be found starting on page 463. Praise the Lord, O my soul. While I live, I will praise the Lord. Indeed, as long as I have my being. I will sing praises unto my God. Put not your trust in princes, nor in any child of man. For there is no help in them. For when one breathes his last, he shall return again to the earth. And in that day, all his thoughts perish. Blessed is the one who has the God of Jacob for his help. And whose hope is in the Lord, his God. Who made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that is therein. Who keeps his promise forever. Who does right to, the, to those who suffer wrong. And who feeds the hungry. The Lord sets prisoners free. The Lord gives sight to the blind. The Lord helps those who have fallen. The Lord loves the righteous. The Lord cares for the strangers in the land. He defends the fatherless and the widow. But the way of the ungodly he makes crooked. The Lord shall be king forevermore. Even your God, O Zion, throughout all generations. Praise the Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The New Testament reading today is a reading from 
St. Paul's epistle to Philemon, beginning with the first verse. Greeting. Paul, a Timothy for Christ Jesus, and Timothy, our brother. To Philemon, our brother, our, our beloved fellow worker, and Aphia, our sister, and Archippus, our fellow soldier, and the church in your house. Grace to you and peace from God, our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ. Philemon's love and faith. I thank my God always when I remember you in my prayers, because I hear of your love and of the faith that you have toward the Lord Jesus and for all the saints. And I pray that the sharing of your faith may become effective for the knowledge of every good thing that is in us for the sake of Christ. For I have derived much joy and comfort from your love, my brother, because the hearts of the saints have been refreshed through you. Paul's plea for Onesimus. Accordingly, though I am bold enough in Christ to command you to do what is required, yet for love's sake, I prefer to appeal to you. I, Paul, an old man, and now a prisoner for Christ Jesus, I appeal to you for my child, Onesimus, whose father I became in my imprisonment. Formerly, he was useless to you, but now he is indeed useful to you and to me. I am sending him back to you, sending my very heart. I would have been glad to keep him here with me in order that he might serve me on your behalf during my imprisonment for the gospel. But I prefer to do nothing without your consent in order that your goodness might not be by compulsion, but out of your own accord. For this perhaps is why he was parted from you a while for a while, that you might have him back forever, no longer as a bondservant, but more than a bondservant, as a beloved brother especially to me, but how much more to you, both in the flesh and in the Lord. So if you consider me your partner, receive him as you would receive me. If he has wronged you at all, if he owes you anything, charge that to my account. I, Paul, write this with my own hand. I will repay it to say nothing of your, your owing me, even your own self. Yes, brother, I want some, if I, I want some benefit from you in the Lord refresh my heart in Christ. Confident of your obedience, I write to you, knowing that you will do even more than I say. At the same time, prepare a guest room for me, for I am hoping that through your prayers, I will be graciously given to you. Final greetings. Epaphras, my fellow prisoner in Christ, sends greetings to you. And so do Mark, Aristarchus, Demas, and Luke, my fellow workers. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with your spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The canticle this morning is the Gloria in Excelsis found on page 107. Glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. And I see, excuse me, the Apostles' Creed is found on page 20. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. 
and with your spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. O Lord, show your mercy upon us. And grant us your salvation. O Lord, guide those who govern us. And lead us in the way of justice and truth. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. And let your people sing with joy. O Lord, save your people. And bless your inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord. And defend us by your mighty power. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And take not your Holy Spirit from us. The Collect of the Day. O Lord, we pray that your grace may always proceed and follow after us, that we may continually be given to good works through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We now have a time for prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you and bless you for your great glory and power. Thank you especially for your mercy towards us and all that you have done for our neighborhood round about us here at Christ the King. Help us as your servants to serve those round about us in love. Heavenly Father, I lift up our neighborhood where we are planted by you. I lift up the businesses, the homes, and the churches. There's so much humanity packed into our little neighborhood that um, and so much happens in our neighborhood. Um, help it not to go unnoticed by us and help those that come through to, to be aware of Christ the King, of the other churches, uh, God's fellowship or God's house, um, Christ Lutheran, the Annunciation Catholic, um, the, the Grant AME Chapel, um, Glory Christian Fellowship, so many, so many um, little churches, um, a smorgasbord <laughs> for um, those of many different uh, tastes, but all reaching to one God and the salvation of those that are around us. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Heavenly Father, we thank you for planting us in this neighborhood and forgiving us and forgiving our bishop a sense that uh, we are here for a reason and that you will show us the reason we're here and you'll give us the strength and the courage and the wisdom to know the reason we're here and and to and to have the courage to step forward and do the work you give us to do <clears throat> and so we ask lord that you would guide us and that you would give us that courage that you would give us the wisdom to begin each day like this in prayer with and for each other um, to help each other pray for each other and to seek your guidance in how we live our lives in this neighborhood and in our neighborhoods where we live that by being doing our best to be christians we can make a difference in this world it's so sorely Need your presence. 
a prayer of St. John Chrysostom. Almighty God, you've given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications to you. And you have promised to your well-beloved son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will grant the requests. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. Well, this concludes Tuesday's morning prayer service. Thank you for being with us. A few of you may have wondered what was going on last week when there were several days where we didn't have morning prayer or Compline. Well, that was a technical glitch on our part and we weren't able to resolve it in time. So we decided to not worry about posting uh, prayer services. And I was actually out of state uh, for several church conferences. So it just didn't work out, but uh, we're back. And uh, look forward to bringing you these morning prayer services uh, for this week. God bless you.